Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Okay. Everything okay? Did you have a nice weekend? Or are you tired this Monday? <laughs> We're going to start the class. Okay, I'm just going to share the screen with you. There it is. Um, just let me adjust this because it's not in the right place. Okay, that looks better. Okay, um, let's begin. First, I'm going to go full screen there. And now I'm going to call the attendance. Okay. When you hear your name, please let me know. Alejandro Jose Quintanilla Ayala. Alejandro Jose Quintanilla Ayala. Present teacher, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. I have a very low battery, so. Okay, and okay. Estoy por llegar a mi casa ahorita. Okay, no problem. <laughs> Thank you. Alicia Guadalupe Hernández Romero. Alicia Guadalupe Hernández. Nope. Okay. Ana Filomena Mendoza. Good evening, teacher. Present. Good evening. Thank you. Ana Yanira Mendoza Godoy. Good evening, teacher. I'm here. Thank you. Andrea Geraldine Sánchez Racinos. Present, teacher. Present. Thank you. Andrea Michelle Garcia Selva. Present, teacher. Thank you. Blanca Marisol Vargas Esteves. Blanca Marisol Vargas Esteves. Boris Martín Salinas Quintanilla. Boris Martín Salinas Quintanilla. Selina Yvette Gutiérrez Osorio. Present. Thank you. Denis Isaías Gómez Rodas. Good evening, present. Good evening. Daisy Carolina Rodríguez Mejía. Present. Thank you. Eric Ernesto Linares Aguirre. Eric Ernesto Linares. Erika Maidel Antonio Flores. Erika Maidel Present. Antonio, okay. Thank you. Francisco Alberto Lemus Guzmán. Present teacher. Uh, good evening. Good evening. Thank you. Iris Regina Hernández Cuellar. Is here, teacher. Thank you. Jenny Elizabeth Quintanilla. Ah, uh, sorry. Santanilla. Sa Santillana. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Cruzaron ahí los apellidos. Jenny Elizabeth Santillana Cortés. Thank you. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Jose Eraidin Enriquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Katia Graciela Juan de Candray. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you. Maritza Isabel Méndez Aguirre. Maritza Isabel. Mendes Aguirre, we have two chat entries. Blanca Marisol says present. Okay, thank you, Blanca. Noemi. Okay, Noemi Alicia. Noemi Alicia. Bueno, pero por acá está, yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh, again, Maritza Isabel Mendes Aguirre. Are you here? Okay. Chat entry. Boris is present. Okay, Boris. Thank you. Miguel Angel Quintanilla Tejada. Present teacher. Thank you. Nadia Isolina Rodriguez Ramirez. Present teacher. Thank you. Ronald Antonio Luna Lopez. Present teacher. Thank you. Saúl Antonio Hernández Torres. 
present teacher and I will be just as a listener in this class because I right now I am in a treat and I don't have a good internet connection. Okay, thank you. All right, so uh, here's what we're going to do. I'm just going to call some of the names again. Alicia Guadalupe Hernandez. Not here? Present. Okay, thank Present. you, thank you, thank you very much. Okay, Eric Ernesto Linares. Eric Ernesto Linares. Maritza Isabel Mendez. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, so just one person's missing. Okay, let's begin. Everybody, thank you for being here. This is Inglés Preavanzado, Modulo 1. And that's me, Ivan Doñan, at your service once again. And this is session number five. Today is March the 6th of 2023 or 2023, whichever you prefer. And what are we going to do? Well, we need to continue, which is unit two, uh, where we left off last time. And that was some grammar, okay? And this is the grammar focus that we started studying last time, but we couldn't finish. Okay, so we're going to try to finish today. Well, we're not going to try to finish today. We're going to finish today. So we have comparisons. This is what we're going to study. Take a look. Comparisons. We're going to check the grammar. And after that, you're going to do an exercise in small groups using the breakout rooms. Okay. So uh, comparisons with adjectives. That's the first one. So what is an adjective? An adjective is a word that describes a noun. Okay, all those words that you use to describe people, to describe things, those are adjectives. I have a chat entry here. Um, okay, all right, um, with adjectives, you have, for example, this, this, and that is more interesting than, okay? So you can say, for example, uh, uh, we can talk about movies, you can talk about a TV series, okay, you can talk about many things, you can talk about books, for example, so you have with adjectives, imagine that you say, just to give you an idea, right, uh, Lord of the Rings, the book, right, is more interesting than the Chronicles of Narnia, to give you an idea, so that could be one example, so is more interesting than, than, or you can say are more interesting than if you use the plural form. So um, who can give me an example of this with an adjective? What is, yeah, more interesting than? I need a, a, an example, something that you can mention. ¿Quién me puede dar un ejemplo, por favor? What can you say is more interesting than some other thing? Okay, Jose. Uh, Resident Evil is more interesting than La Rosa de Guadalupe. <laughs> okay, all right. Resident Evil is more interesting than La Rosa de Guadalupe. Okay, all right, okay. G great grammar. <laughs> okay, so uh, the opposite will be, okay, Blanca Marisol, what do you have? Okay, teacher, uh, real books is more instant interesting that see the movie okay um good but there is one thing and i guess we studied this also um is the use of gerunds okay if you use it at the beginning of a sentence as a subject then you say reading books okay is more interesting than what do you say i'm sorry See the movies. Okay, seeing the movies. Okay, or seeing the movie adaptations. So reading books is more interesting than seeing their, let's say, let's change it a little bit, their movie adaptations. I agree, by the way. Okay, I prefer to read the book. So um, something we have studied before, reading, okay, because it comes at the beginning of a sentence. We said that you can use a verb at the beginning of a sentence, but if you do it, you have to use it in ING form. You have to use a gerund form. So reading books is more interesting than seeing their movie adaptations. So thank you very much, Blanca. What about the next one, which is less interesting than? This is the opposite. You have more interesting than, then you have less interesting than. So um, who can give me an example? Katia Graciela Juan. Okay, teacher. Mm, 
Reading books is less interesting than series Cobra Kai. Than the series Cobra Kai. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. So, um, yeah, reading books is less interesting than the Cobra Kai series on Netflix. Okay. So, there you go. Okay. Okay, sounds sounds okay. Reading books is less interesting than the Cobra Kai series. So, uh, Katia, I have a question for you. Uh, so, you watched the Cobra Kai series. You like yes, it? Yes, sure. But I uh, love it. Okay, you love it. But what about the Karate Sorry. Kid? What about the Karate, the original Karate Kid movies? I like Karate Kid 1, 2, 3, and the, the other... Karate Kid with the with Jackie Chan actress. I don't remember the the name the actress. In this um, moment. it's a lady, right? Yes. Uh, Hillary yes. Hillary Swank, I believe that's her name. Hillary Hillary uh, something. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes, okay. I don't remember in this moment, but I like the uh, the this this movie Karate Karate oh. Kid one, two, and three. Okay, so which one do you think is more interesting, the Cobra Kai series or the Karate Kid movies? Both, teacher. But in your opinion, which one is more interesting? Which which mm. which group is more interesting? Let's say uh, the Karate Kid movies or uh, the Cobra Kai series. In this moment, the Cobra Kai series. Okay, so <laughs> maybe you can say here, the Karate Kid series okay or let's say film series is less interesting than the cobra kai series okay yes say sure. the cobra kai tv series okay you can say TV that series. Okay. Yes, sure. there you go okay, okay yeah just sure. to, just to make a more um say balanced comparison okay because yeah the karate kid films and the cobra kai tv series they are related okay thank you katia what about this one is harder than when something is more difficult than something else. Okay, what can you say with adjectives right here? What do we have? Mm -hmm. I need a volunteer to participate. Just to give you an example, just take a look. I will say, uh, okay, Dennis. Well, it's just an opinion. Um, no playing rock music, playing playing rock music is harder than playing reggaeton music. Okay, <laughs> playing rock music is harder than playing reggaeton music. Okay, it's harder. It's more difficult. You need to play the instrument. Yeah, totally. Okay, sounds good. So uh, again, you have that more interesting than less interesting than harder than Maritza wants to participate. Yes, teacher. Um, traveling by bus mm -hmm. is harder than traveling on the car. Okay, yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's harder, but it's also more expensive. <laughs> okay, but yeah, <laughs> so totally, yeah. Uh, driving or traveling by car is harder than traveling by bus. Yeah, that's for sure. Okay, so um, what about the last one? You have not as hard as, which is the opposite. If you say, for example, just to give you an idea, riding a bicycle or riding a bike, no, sorry, uh, driving a car is harder than riding a bike. Okay, that could be one. So driving a car is harder than riding a bike. Okay, now how can you express the same idea, but this time using not as hard as? Same thing. Then if that's the case, you will have to say, riding a bike is not or isn't as hard as driving a car. If you notice right here, these two sentences express the same idea. Driving a car is harder than riding a bike. Well, if you want to say it in different words, you can say riding a bike is not as hard. No es tan difícil como. It's not as hard as driving a car. We have a chat entry right here. Playing chess is harder than watching. 
Well, yeah, definitely. <laughs> okay, Boris says play, playing chess. But but again, Boris, uh, remember that if you use an action or a verb at the beginning of a sentence, you have to use the gerund form. So the ing form should be playing chess is harder than watching people play chess. Okay, <laughs> you can say that. Well, that's for sure. Okay. Uh, Daisy says, running is not as hard as going to the gym. Okay. <laughs> okay, she has that. Okay, uh, Daisy says, uh, running is not as hard as going to the gym. Well, you can go to the gym and run, right? On a treadmill. You can still run there. But yeah. Okay, you get the idea right here. So that's those are comparisons with adjectives. What about comparisons with nouns? Okay, th this is slightly different. So here's the thing. Okay, with nouns, you can use an adjective and a noun. For example, noun is hours, but then you can use an adjective. Has better hours than, has worse hours than. Okay, better something than, worse something than. Okay, so... Um, Let's imagine that you're using this, okay? Um, sales better pizza than. What sentence can you say using this? Or maybe not sales, just makes, okay? Let's compare to pizza, you know, restaurants. What can you say? Volunteers. I just need a volunteer, please. Then make pupusa, teacher? Then, uh, okay, I guess that's possible, but we are comparing pizza only. So the idea is to compare two pizza restaurants. Say, for example, Pizza Hat and Papa Jones, or Papa Jones and Domino's Pizza, or Domino's Pizza and what else is there? <laughs> I don't know much. Pollo Campero also makes pizza. I don't know. So, that's telepizza, I believe. So what, what can you say? What about this one? Jose. Uh, La Cibareña makes better pizza than the than Pizza Hut. OK, what's the name of the first pizzeria? La Cibareña. La Cibareña, OK. Yeah. OK, La Cibareña makes better pizza than Pizza Hut. Uh, Dennis says, Pizza Hut makes better pizza than Pollo Campero. OK, all right. There you go. It's a, a matter of taste, a matter of opinion. So, but that's the idea. So um, the next one, you have this one, isn't as much work as, okay? So uh, you can say, for example, uh, let's say uh, designing a house, isn't as much work as building it. That's an example right there. Isn't as much as much work as so designing designing a house isn't as much work as building it. Of course, designing a house is difficult and you need a specialist to design it. Okay. You need a maybe an architect. Okay. But building the house is a lot of physical work. Okay. So Depends on your opinion, of course, but you have this designing a house isn't as much work as building it. Okay, so that's another example right there. The next one is has more education than okay. Well, you can you can uh, compare not only with the word education, but with some other words. But that's the idea. You can say more. You can use the um, let's say the word fun, which is also a noun. Is more. Or no, probably not the word. Let's see. Um, okay, you can also talk about restaurants again. Okay, has more options than, and you can mention another restaurant. Okay, so what can you say? You can talk about two different restaurants right here. What restaurants has? What restaurant has more options than another restaurant? Any ideas? Need a volunteer. Jose. Okay, Jose. The donkeys has more options than Pollo Campero. What was the first one? Donkeys. 
donkeys. Ah, they, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, I think I've heard about it. So donkeys has more options than Pollo Campero. Okay, we have that right there. Okay, that's good. So that's comparatives with nouns. What about with verbs? You have earns more than. You can say, for example, uh, here in El Salvador, a, I don't know, earns more than a or n. What can you say here? Uh, Jose, do, do you still want to participate or is your hand up? Okay, uh, Maritza Isabel. In El Salvador, a uh, doctor mm -hmm. earns more than uh, accountant. In El Salvador, a doctor earns more than an accountant, for example. Okay, good. Yeah, that 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 is true. You know, doctors in El Salvador often earn good money. Okay. Some accountants also earn good money, <laughs> but it's more common for, for really. doctors. <laughs> Not really. You say, are you are you an are, are you an accountant? Yes, I am. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> well, we can say in El Salvador, doctors earn more money than teachers. Okay, here I am. <laughs> That's for sure. I am a teacher, so so uh, you have this earns less than okay, which is. The opposite idea, you can say, uh, for example, here, I'm going to copy this in order not to repeat it. Just say here, uh, Nadia. Um, in El Salvador, a uh, teacher and less than football players. Okay, <laughs> that is true. A teacher earns less than a football player. Yeah, I guess so. It will be like soccer player. And yeah, there you go. In the Sabado, a teacher earns less than a soccer player. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Definitely. Although, to be honest with you, I have no idea how much a soccer player earns. I imagine it depends on what club they belong to and what tournament they're playing. But I don't know. Okay. But but given the normal circumstances, I will say that, yeah, most likely yeah, a teacher earns less than a soccer player. <laughs> okay, good example. So what about this one? Um, earns as much as, this is like when it's the same, okay? This is a comparative of equality. What can you say in this case? You can say in El Salvador, blah, 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 earns as much as, I don't know. This one is a bit more difficult because you have to know the salary ranges of different professions. But uh, what example can you give me? Nadia. Mm, I don't know, but I, I think so in El Salvador, uh, uh, architects um, as much as uh, and as much as uh, engineer. Okay, yeah, possibly, I will say so. In El Salvador, an architect earns as much as an engineer. Okay, yeah, architecture and engineering are very similar in many, many respects. So yeah, yeah, probably, right? In El Salvador, an architect earns as much as an engineer. I will say so. Okay, thank you, Nadia. And the opposite will be doesn't earn as much as, okay? Which is similar to earns less than, very much. We can also we can use the same example here in El Salvador. A teacher earns less than a soccer player, or in El Salvador, a teacher earn, you can say doesn't earn as much as a soccer player. Okay, in El Salvador, a teacher doesn't earn as much as a soccer player. Same idea, right there. Okay, so uh, the last part with past participles. Okay, here you can use better, worse, and as well. So it's better paid than, okay? It's mejor pagado, okay? You can say, um, you were telling me, for example, uh, a doctor and an accountant, okay? So you can imagine in El Salvador, 
being a doctor is better paid than being an accountant. Okay, you can say that it's better paid than being an accountant. Similarly, you can say, let me see, isn't as well paid as, okay, uh, in El Salvador being a teacher, <laughs> using the same examples to make it clear, isn't as well paid as being a soccer player. There you go. In El Salvador, being a teacher isn't as well paid as being a soccer player, you can say. I'm using the same examples you gave me. <laughs> and finally, you have better educated than, you can say that you better, uh, it follows the same pa pattern. You have better and then uh, a past participle. That's what you use, okay? Better paid, isn't as well paid, et cetera, et cetera. So the idea is here using a verb in past participle as a participial adjective. And that's how you form let's say comparisons, comparisons with adjectives, comparisons with nouns, comparisons with verbs, and comparisons with past participles. That's the idea. Now I'm just going to share this information with you via WhatsApp because right now you're going to do an exercise for me and you're going to be working in groups. So I'm tapping this picture and I'm going to send it via the WhatsApp group. If I find it, okay. There you go. Okay, I'm reading some of the messages right here. Okay, I'm going to send this to you. Yeah, the group. Okay, I'm sorry about the poor qual scanning quality. And we're going to do this. What are you going to do? Complete the sentences using the words in parentheses. Compare with a partner. More than one answer is sometimes possible. So you have an interior decorator, blah, 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 a fashion designer, and then you have paid in parentheses. Paid is a past participle. So you're supposed to be using this final part, okay? So what are we going to do? We're going to be working in small breakout rooms. In other words, I'm going to divide you in small groups so you can work together and uh, you can solve this exercise together. And after that, we're going to check, you know, the whole group, of course. So let me see, how many people do we have? We're going to be creating, let's see, five groups. Okay, five groups of from four to five people. Okay, here we go. So group number one, okay, I'm going to read the list of uh, members. Uh, room number one, you have Alicia Guadalupe, Andrea Michel, Blanca Marisol, Denis Isaías and Jose Eraibin. Okay. Room two, we have Alejandro Quintanilla, Ana Filomena Mendoza, Ana Yanira Mendoza, the two Ana Mendozas, uh, Selena Yvette and Miguel Angel. Okay. Room three, we have Boris, Martin, Katia Graciela, Maritza Isabel and Noemi Alicia. Room four, Daisy Carolina Rodriguez, Erika Maidel, Iris Regina and Ronald Antonio. And in room five, we have Andrea Geraldine, Francisco Alberto, Jenny Elizabeth, and Nadia Isolina. So those are the groups. I want you to uh, join the breakout rooms and I want you to work. Now, there is before we do this, there's one thing that I want to ask from you, okay? Very important. And I'm going to say it in Spanish, okay? To be perfectly clear, all right? Eh, por favor, el objetivo de los breakout rooms es trabajar en grupos. Es como que si estuviéramos en una clase normal, ¿verdad? en un salón de clase y se reunieran en círculos a trabajar en equipo, ¿verdad? ¿Qué quiero decir con esto? Que yo entro a los breakout rooms y escucho y veo lo que están haciendo. Entonces, eh, es un poquito raro a veces que uno entra y ve que todos están calladitos en silencio haciendo todo el ejercicio individualmente. Es decir, no está mal hacer el ejercicio individualmente, pero no es la idea. O sea, la idea es que trabajemos en grupo, que nos comuniquemos. ¿Verdad? Lo otro también que yo quería decirles que evitemos es, digamos que en algunos grupos sucede que hay uno o dos que están trabajando, bueno, hay dos, tres que están trabajando y los demás solo son como espectadores. ¿verdad? Quiero ver que lo hagan ellos. <ríe> yo solo voy a copiar la respuesta. No, procuremos no hacer eso. Si vamos a estar en los breakout rooms, eh, 
participemos activamente, ¿verdad? Es un grupo y la idea es la comunicación. Okay, that's the end of that part. Uh, so I'm going to open the breakout rooms now. Please, everybody, join the breakout room. And I'm going to send this via WhatsApp because when I visit each breakout room, I cannot share the screen at the same time. Okay, so I'm going to do it now, actually, just to make sure everybody has it. Okay, so I'm sending this via WhatsApp. So everybody check your phone or your WhatsApp web if it's open. And uh, that's the exercise that I want you to do. Okay, so I'm, I'm opening the record rooms right now. Everybody, please join them. Let's begin. Okay, everybody, I'm going to join the first breakout room and I'm going to be visiting all of them. Okay, just to listen to what you're doing and help you if necessary. Here I go. And if you want to start with the first one. Thank you, the curator. Mm -hmm. Any ideas? Well, an interior decorator is better paid than a fashion designer. Okay, that is correct. Very good. All right. What about number two? It could be a secret agent travel. A secret agent travels more than a police officer. Uh, travels more than a police officer. Okay, sounds good. Okay, great. I think this is going well. So I'm going to go visit another breakout room. Okay, please continue and finish the exercise. And after that, we're going to be checking answers together. Okay, see you in a few minutes. This one. Let me see. I need to I need to yes, paid is, is, is uh, better paid down. Paid, paid is the past participle of, of pay. Yes. Yeah. It's better paid than a fashion designer. Yes. Yes, exactly. Yes. It's better paid than a fashion designer. Oh, uh, Miguel, are, are, uh, share your his uh, screen. No problem. Excellent. The number two, who wants uh, to? Yes, uh, thank you. Secret agent. Secret agent. 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 Sorry, agent. Travis Mordan, a police officer. Good. Robin. Okay. Yes. Please. Great. Please, please. Okay. Anna. You, you've got this. Okay, very good. So um, I'm going to, you know, uh, visit another breaker room now. Okay, just to monitor yeah, okay. what everybody else is doing. See you in a few minutes. Yeah. Please continue. Um, Hi, teacher. <laughs> it's more painting. Hi. More Hi. painting. Yes, but it's more paint. Number it's one. More than <laughs> my designer, teacher. Is, are you in number one right now? Yes, because. Okay, okay. Okay, so. Don't, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Okay, now let's take a look. 
here, here's the thing. Uh, paid, paid is a past participle. Okay. So I want you to check the information that I sent you and check the part that says comparisons with past participles, which is the last one. The, okay, but the last one is an interior decorator. Mm -hmm. More than, it's more paid. More, Use more paid no, or less paid? No, not more paid. If you, more paid. Uh, if you remember, okay, so if you check what's up right now, okay, and you send the picture, or if you check the picture that I sent you before, the information, you will see it. I sent you the information, which is grammar focus, comparisons. You have comparisons with adjectives, comparisons with nouns, comparisons with verbs and comparisons with past participles is more but but <laughs> so, mm -hmm. an interior decorator is better paid than than a fashion designer an interior decorator is better paid than a fashion designer that is correct Ah, yes. okay. Ah, okay, teacher. Is the I I see the the <laughs> I know. <laughs> you saw the information I sent. Okay. Now don't worry, the, don't worry. Group teacher. Yes. Okay, great. So an interior yeah. decorator is better paid than a fashion designer. What about the second yeah. one? You have in parentheses travel. What what kind of word is travel? Is it an adjective? A noun, a verb, or a verb in past participle? It's a verb. It's verb. a verb. Okay, so you have to use it. Um, check out the information that says with verbs. So what about number two? Okay. A uh, secret agent. Mm, secret agent. Uh -huh. A secret agent. Agent. Traveling. The traveling. No, travels. No, travels. Travels. Uh -huh. Um, less than a police officer. Okay, a secret or, agent. Yeah, travels less than a more, police or officer. More, or, or more, or more. Or travels more than a police officer. Okay, then you go. You get the idea. And, and the two, uh, a secret, uh, a secret agent. 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 Mm -hmm. Travel is more interesting than a police office uh not exactly because uh if you say it's more interesting than then you're using an adjective and that adjective is not in parentheses so you have to com yes, you have to make a comparison with the verb which is travel so a secret uh maritza said it just a moment a secret agent travels more than a police yes, officer yes. or travels less than a police officer Okay. okay, I think you, you got a, a, an idea right now. I want you to continue and I'll have to go visit a different breakout room. Okay, because I need to check on everybody's work right now. Get the other okay. breakout room. <laughs> <laughs> okay, in the meanwhile, please, I want you, in the meantime, I'm sorry, I want you to continue. Okay, see you in a few minutes. Thank you, teacher. Okay. <laughs> Isen. Yeah. Uh -huh. Isen. Uh -huh. Isen has much education. Cabal. Isen has. Isen. 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 What number is that? Sorry. Four. Number four. Number four. Okay. Okay. So, um, what do we have? Uh, it's it's uh, comparatives with nouns. Okay. So if you check the information that I sent before. You will have, uh, you know, it's grammar focus, comparisons with adjectives, and then you have with nouns. Adjectives, entonces sería... Uh -huh. Landscapers, 
Eastern. Mm, no. The landscaper and mm -hmm. certainly the, the pintor or paisajista. I don't know. Mm, no. Más bien son los que arreglan los jardines y dejan todo bien bonito para que quede ah. todo super. That's a landscaper. Uh -huh. Like the conversation we read on, uh, on, on Thursday. That's a landscaper. Uh, okay. mm -hmm. mm, yeah, gardening is, is part Como of jardinero. the duties. It's, oh. it's, it's similar to that. It's just part of the duties. Okay, but not only that. They do more things to make the landscape look beautiful. So... Landscapers, uh, you're using the verb be, but I guess you have to use a different verb. What about the verb have? You can see it in the information. En la información que les pasé antes del ejercicio aparece en los cuatro casos, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Busquen uh -huh. el que dice with nouns. With nouns. Yeah, with mm -hmm. nouns. As better, worse, or done. It's the thing I as much for us. With nouns. Uh, with nouns. Mm -hmm. Landscapers. Landscaper has worse education than. Worse. Than retention. Mm -hmm. Well, probably not. A different verb. What about the verb have? Es parecido al ejemplo que aparece. No. They say with nouns. Has better or worse hours oh, than isn't education. isn't as much work as or has more education than there you have you have the word education so you can say has more education than or has less education than. Yeah, uh, yeah but it, but, uh -huh. good. However, sería has less education than. However, however. Uh, you cannot say has because it's not just one landscaper. It's landscapers in general. So we're talking about all mm -hmm. landscapers. So instead of has, what do you say? Have. Have. Okay. Landscapers have more education than veterinarians. Or if you want to say it, landscapers have less education than veterinarians. You can okay. say that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Landscapers has less yeah. education than have have more less educa paper, how less it, it depends on education that it depends it depends on what you want to say uh i depend on su opinion but but para ustedes puede que eh, uno um, este tipo de trabajador tenga más educación que el veterinario o si usted puede decirlo tiene menos educación que el veterinario ahí depende de lo que quiera ajá ambas son válidas gramaticalmente more or less. Uh -huh. In my opinion, landscapers have less education than veterinarians. Okay, okay. There you go. That's the opinion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Still a compart. Disagree. <laughs> Okay, I have to uh, go visit the final breakout room and after that I'm going to, well, we're going to check the answers together. So please continue and I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay. Okay. Trouble. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I... Professor Gregantes, troubles and police officer. Trouble. The chair is trouble or troubles? Like secret agent. Yeah. Troubles. Okay. No? Um, if you check the information that I sent you before, okay, uh, mm -hmm. you have to say a secret agent. Can you can I you check? I don't know. It, will it be possible to um, paste it onto the, the, the this document? Yeah. Así como pusieron esta imagen ahí, también podrían poner la otra para que podamos verlo juntos. ¿Cuál otra? La que les mandé antes. Uh -huh. oh, sorry. 
Okay. 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 Ah, the, the, the examples. Una verde. Ah, no la tenía. No la no la no la había no la habían visto. Ah, no la copié. En el WhatsApp está Jenny. Ya, 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 ya. En el WhatsApp. Ya, okay. que dice comparison. Entonces, ¿qué tenemos? An interior decorator, ok, number one, is less paid than a fashion designer. Por lo general no se dice less paid than. Se puede decir better paid than, pero no less paid than. Entonces aquí las better, opciones. Better. better pay then, ok. O pueden ocupar la uh -huh. otra forma que uh -huh. es para expresar que uh, que no es tan bien pagado como el fashion design. ¿Cómo sería? Uh -huh. Yes, yeah. it's, this is a, a correct form. It, it's and one. The but... interior decor. Interior decorator. And teacher, the other form is uh, um... yes, done. I, I'm sorry, Andrea, can you repeat it? No, the other form for the answer. The other a... form would be an interior decorator isn't as well paid as a fashion designer. Mm. Mm -hmm. Isn't Even... as, as well paid as a fashion designer. No es igual de bien pagado que un diseñador de moda, right? En español hicimos mal. Yes. <laughs> no, don't worry, don't worry. Let's take a look at number two. This a secret agent is more travel than. Exactly. There's a problem right there. To begin with, uh, you don't need to use the verb be. So that is should not be there. No. Mm -hmm. So don't use is because the verb is travel. So you don't need another verb. Okay. Mm. And now if you go back and if you check the information that I sent you, when you're making comparisons with verbs, you have to use the verb and after that more, or you use the verb and after that less. So you don't say more travel. You have to say travels more. Okay. Mm -hmm. Travels with an S? With an S, with, correct. With S, travels with S. or travels? Yes. Travels with an S, like that. Okay, travels, no, <laughs> travels more <laughs> than a police officer. Travels more than. Okay. 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 More and, and the word, uh -huh. <laughs> travels more. <laughs> Travels more, uh, viaja más. Uh -huh. Number three, an air traffic controller's job is less artistic than a TV director's job. Okay, that is correct. Number okay. four, landscapers <laughs> is the same education as veterinarians. Not exactly. I want you to check the part that says uh, comparisons with nouns. The last example. That's nice. Has mm -hmm. more education. Has more education than or has less education then is also possible. But in, in this case, in you, a, in you have- opinion, In my opinion, the landscaper- uh -huh. In my opinion, the landscaper is the similar education does veterinarians. Okay, in that case, you will have to say something like, uh, landscapers have as much education as veterinarians. Uh, has much. As much. What is exactly the landscaper teacher? Landscaper. To be honest with you, in Spanish, I don't know, but landscaper is a person whose job is to make a landscape look beautiful and attractive to other people. Normally, it involves a lot of gardening. Yeah, because mm -hmm. según San Gogla, dice que es todo lo relacionado con las plantas, pero no sabe uh -huh. seguro. Jardinería, yeah. bastante de ah, jardinería, okay. pero a, a otro nivel, digamos. No solo ser yeah, jardinero, yeah. sino... Llevarlo a un nivel mayor, ¿verdad? Que se mira súper bonito el paisaje. Ok. Uh -huh. Teacher, this is correct. Landscaper has more education than the uh -huh. Yes. Let's see. Uh, landscapers. Ah, fine. Working in comedian. 
as a he comedian. Is, um, hard in, in hard a bit, uh, begin to public speak. It is hard, really. Working as a comedian is hardly the other no states. No, uh, uh, what is it? But that's an adjective. What's what's the comparative yeah. form of hard? Less, uh, teacher, we, we can use le less, less hard. We can say less hard, but I will say less difficult. Okay. You can say harder <laughs> or less difficult than being a public speaker. I will say working as a comedian is probably harder. <laughs> yeah, it, it's hard, teacher. Uh -huh. It's hard. I will say working it's as a comedian hard. is is harder, hard. harder with e r, okay, harder I than. Hard. Uh, we cannot say less harder. That's not possible. Less hard is possible, but it's not less harder. Hard. Hard, only only hard. Only hard without E R. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Hard with a D. Me falta la D. En hard me falta la D. Aha. So you say working as a comedian <laughs> is less hard than. Being a public speaker. Being a public speaker. Okay. Ok, en number four, cuidado la número cuatro, dice landscapers, como es plural no podemos poner has, tendríamos que poner landscapers. Have much. Have, mm -hmm. sería have, as much education as veterinarians. Okay. Have, y luego, as, as much education as. As. As much uh -huh, education as veterinarians. Mm -hmm, like that. Okay. Uh, ahora bien, estas nada más son algunos eh, posibles respuestas correctas, pero hay más. De acuerdo. Vamos a pasar ya por cuestión de tiempo. Vamos a terminar los breakout rooms y vamos a ver todas las respuestas juntos. Okay. Okay. Um, in the meantime, you can continue with number six. Teacher, I have a question. What's your question? Uh, what is in Spanish yes. earn? What is in Spanish? Earn. Uh, earn. What's the translator, correct? The translation of... La de la seis, earn. Earn, earn means ganar. Ah. Pero ganar por mérito. Es decir, ganar oh. dinero, por ejemplo. O usted puede hacer, digamos, eh, una tarea extra en un curso y se va a ganar un punto, por ejemplo. Earn, ah, eso Entonces sí. Entonces sería the correct instructor is less uh, no, cuidado, this cuida caution, no? cuidado, va, cuidado, cuidado oh, pero revisemos, sorry. no, it's okay, it's okay pero revisemos los, los eh, la información que les mandé no a todo hay que poner uh, el verb be. este es un verb sí, earn uh -huh. entonces aerobic instructors aquí decimos gana, ganan, ganan más o ganan menos la verdad es que ganan menos que the social mm -hmm. cultures. Entonces decimos aerobic instructors earn <laughs> uh -huh. earn earn more or earn less. Earn less. Earn less. Okay, you can say earn less than. Okay, ya Iván, verdad? Earn less than yeah. soccer coaches. Okay. okay. Pero cuidado ahí que la, se les ha ido mal la, la oración. <risa> Airless es. Ajá. Es, to, to, uh, to, to, todo eso que dice has better than soccer, todo eso, nada, nada de eso va. Ah. Aerobic <risa> instructors, ajá. Aerobic instructors. No, no, no. Sería earn less, o si ustedes quieren decir que ganan más, ponen earn more. No, sí. Mm -mm. Earn, el verbo earn, que está en paréntesis. Oh. Earn, uh -huh, uh -huh. less, less than soccer coaches. Okay. Yes. There you go. Yes, it is. <laughs> finish. Okay. <laughs> we finished right here. Okay, so um, I'm going to. Thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. I'm going to close the breakout rooms now so we can check all answers together. Okay, see you in one minute.
Ok. Okay, everybody, I'm going to close the breaker rooms now. So uh, in one minute, okay, we'll be back to the main session. Okay, in 55 seconds, we'll be back. Okay, because it takes one minute, exactly. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. How are you? How are you? Hi. <laughs> Please, teacher, don't let him sing again. Okay. Um, there's nothing I can do about it, but okay, I'll try. <laughs> Okay, just a, let's see how many seconds. Uh, wait. Not everybody's connected or are they connected? Everybody's connected now. Okay, I'm going to start sharing the screen one more time and we're going to uh, share answers or compare answers. Here we go. I think everybody's connected now. Everybody's back. We have a chat entry. Okay, Francisco is going to drink water. Okay, <laughs> thank you for letting me know. Okay, I guess everybody's back. Great. So um, here we go. The first one is an interior decorator. Okay, I need a volunteer to help me read this. Okay, Selena. Thank you. An interior decorator is better paid than a fashion designer. Okay, that's a possible answer. So an interior decorator is better paid than a fashion designer. Alternatively, you can say an interior decorator is not as well paid as a fashion designer. It depends on your opinion, of course, right? So, but yeah, grammatically correct. Very good. Thank you, Selena. That was good. What about number two? I need a volunteer. Raise your hand, please. Your digital hand, virtual hand. Jenny Elizabeth, and then Boris, you go with number three. So Jenny, number two, and Boris, number three. Okay. Uh, a state secret agent travels more than a police officer. Travels more. A secret agent travels more than a police officer, or you can also say a secret agent travels less than a police officer. You can say that. Okay, sounds good. Thank you, Jenny. Very good. Uh, Boris, what about number three? What do you have? Okay, uh, <clears throat> an air traffic controller job um, is less artist than a TV director job. Less artistic. Less artistic. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Neuro traffic controller's job is more artistic than, or as Boris said, less artistic than a TV director's job. Okay. All right. Good. Nice. Correct answer. What about number four? Landscapers and veterinarians. Let's compare their levels of education. I need a volunteer. Please raise your virtual hand. Alejandro Quintanilla. Landscaper has less education as a veterinarian. Okay. Than, a, vet, than a veterinarian. Than veterinarians. Yes. Okay. Yes. One, one more thing. Okay. Landscapers, that's a plural noun. So we cannot say has. You have to say. Okay. Have. Have. Okay. So okay. landscapers have more education than veterinarians or landscapers less have education. less education than veterinarians. Okay. Those are the alternatives. Okay. Thank you, Alejandro. Yeah, yes. Who's calling I me? have a question, sorry. Ah, okay, um, Katia. Tell me in Spanish, what is the meaning landscapers? Landscapers, that's a question. That's a good question because to be honest with you, I'm not sure. I know the definition in English, but not the translation into Spanish. So let me look it up. A landscaper is basically someone who has a job of making a place look beautiful, especially a large space of land. Normally landscapers get the duties of gardeners. Okay, but in a whole different level. Landscaper, okay. let's see, landscaper into Spanish. Um, paisajista, pero paisajista no se debe entender como paisajista que hace pintura de paisajes. 
sino más bien alguien que se especializa en dejar un lugar, un paisaje, por lo general un terreno bien grande o un jardín muy, muy grande, bien bonito. <coughs> Maybe ah, a park. Maybe a park. Ok, ya, yeah, totally. Ok, teacher, I understand. También aparece, según el diccionario, en las siguientes entradas, Spanish, jardinero, aunque jardinero puede ser gardener también, ¿verdad? Yes, teacher. Okay, okay teacher, thank you. You're welcome. So, um, what about number five, working as a comedian? Raise your hand, please. Uh -huh. Who wants to try? Ana Filomena. Me. Uh, working as a comedian is harder than being a public speaker. Working as a comedian is harder than uh, being a public speaker. Well, there you go. Working as a comedian is harder than being a public speaker. If you want to express the opposite, you can also say working as a comedian isn't as hard as being a public speaker. Okay. Okay, great. Thank you, uh, Ana Filomena. And the last one, who wants to try? Katia, Juan, de Candray. <laughs> okay, teacher. Aerobics instructor uh, ears less than soccer coach. Aerobics instructors earn, earn more or earn less, I'm sorry? Ar Earn less uh -huh. than soccer okay. coach. Okay, there you go. Aerobic instructors earn less than soccer coaches or aerobic instructors earn more than soccer coaches. Exactly. Okay, very good. All right, we're going to finish right here because it's time, it's nine three. So before we finish, let me just uh, uh, call the attendance list one more time. Well, not the list because there's only one person and that is Eric Ernesto. Eric Ernesto, are you here? Me pareció que sí. Quiero ver. Eric, ah, no, mandó un mensaje por WhatsApp. Me parece, Eric. Uh, conexión. Ok, no hay problemas de conexión a internet. Ok, so. Ok, he was the only one. So, um, we're going to finish right here. Everybody, as usual, Thank you for being here. Thank you for your attention. Thank you for your participation. And thank you for, for being constant. Okay, um, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, take good care and good night. Thank you, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Thank you. Bye, guys.